Well, now that Joe Biden is running for president, Democrats have 20 choices to make for the nominee. So who does Oregon like best, Bernie or Biden? KGW's Tim Gordon talked to a local political strategist with the poll numbers that Tim are going against the national norm. So who would Oregon Dems pick if the election were today? Well, Nina, Oregon was certainly Bernie country in the last primary election against Hillary Clinton and March polling by Zogby has him a point ahead of Biden in Oregon. That was before Biden was officially running. So now that the former VP's in, does that change? Well. First, it's important to note it is so early in the competition. Right now, it's a lot about name recognition, and both Biden and Sanders have a lot of that. But Pacific University's Jim Moore says there are so many candidates in the field that anything's really possible. Moore also says the old school Democrat may stand out in the crowd for this reason. Joe Biden is actually more unique this time, which is a bad use of the word unique, um, because there aren't that many moderates in there. And he's definitely a moderate. And so we'll see how that plays out in Oregon and around the country. Now, interesting point made about Sanders. While he does have a strong Oregon following, Moore says he's got the same policy positions as he had before 2016. So how does he grow his following here is a question. One thing Sanders has a lot going for him is a lot of money. According to the New York Times, Biden will have to raise $100,000 a day until Christmas to catch Sanders' war chest. He's doing big events with big fund people rather than on getting $10, $50 from hundreds of thousands of people. And so we'll see whether that works. Yeah, we'll see if that works in the long run. Moore says it will come down to policy positions and electability for Democrats. One other thing, does Washington Governor Jay Inslee get any love from Oregonians? Well, not yet. The latest polling has him down with a half dozen other candidates at 1%.